Now there is another edit option inside of Sony Vegas which is actually called a fit to fill or a four point edit. And the difference between a three point edit and a four point edit is that four point edits change the speed of a clip because they have to fit the clip into a specified area. Let me give you an example. I've got a little clip in the timeline. Let me just play it. I've got an interesting wave that goes across. So if I play that, you can see the interesting wave goes across, but it's very short. Okay, just a nice wave that goes across. And say I want to fit it into the middle of these two clips. And if I pull this one out, and I've actually left quite a lot of time in here. So say, you can see it's actually, it tells me, you've got an indication here, it's actually five seconds and two frames. A really helpful indication showing me the gap between this clip and this clip. Right, now, if I want to fit this clip into here, clearly this is not five seconds and two frames. It's far shorter. So if I want to fit it into this gap, it's going to slow its speed down. It's going to slow its speed right down. Now, to be able to do this, I actually have to show or select the area in the timeline. So I'm going to make sure my timeline is active. Just click in it, make sure it's active. And then I'm going to use those square brackets to get back to the beginning. And I'm going to do O for an out point at that one. Carry on doing open square bracket till I get to the other one and do I. So I've actually got a selection in the timeline, but I still can't do it yet until that selection is active. And you do that by double clicking on the gray bar here. And now that selection is active. And a button has popped up inside of the trimmer window, which is this one here, that is called the fit to fill button. And fit to fill is going to make that wave fit into the gap, even though the wave is significantly shorter than the gap. So therefore, the wave will go much slower. So if I click fit to fill, the wave has gone in there. You might have seen some sort of zigzag lines showing that a time stretch option has taken place. And if I click here and play, it might stutter in its playback. But let's have a quick look. That's done a number of things. It's certainly made the audio sound very weird. It's robotized the audio, but it has also made this clip very slow. So let's just turn off the audio at the moment. Let's mute the track and let's look at that one more time. Now it looks stuttery. You can actually make it look a little bit better if we do something called a RAM preview. So I'm just going to select that area again and I'm going to do something called a RAM preview, which is just going to render out the whole thing using the RAM in my machine. So if I do shift and I hit B, shift and letter B, it's going to go through that clip to make sure that it plays back more smoothly. And now when I hit the space bar to play it back, it's going to play back a little bit more smoothly. You can see it's still not at high quality. Now obviously this is an extreme example, so let's have a look at another example. I'm going to shut this off and actually get rid of this particular one. And this time I'm actually going to go back to a previous setting, which is Boat Into Harbour. And notice that we've got quite a long section in here. We can see its length is significantly longer than the little gap we got selected. So I'm going to double click to select that gap again. And now Fit to Fill is available, but it's going to make the boat go a lot quicker. So if I do Fit to Fill, drop it in there. Again, we saw the zigzags going on. Click before to play. Again, it might be a bit stuttery. Play. And now the boat is coming much quicker into harbour. Okay, so these are extremes showing you that you can really speed clips up and slow clips down. And you can do this inside Sony Vegas very easily anyway. It's not particularly difficult to speed up and slow clips down. We'll show you that in another tutorial. But for now, know that you've got the fit to fill function. Where is it useful? Well, you've got timing. Quite often you want to time your video to music. And so you've got a clip and it doesn't quite hit the beat. So you might be able to specify the area you want that clip to go into with an in and out point in the timeline, an in and out point for your clip in the trimmer, and then do the fit to fill, and it's going to fill that gap perfectly, and you're not going to end up with any spare space, because the last thing you want are gaps. Gaps are a no-no. You don't want gaps, it can cause all kinds of problems in playback. So if you end up specifying the area, specifying the clip, and just speeding up a tiny bit, or slowing it down a tiny bit by using the fit to fill function, you'll find it can solve a whole load of problems or as we sometimes say it can cover a multitude of sins very easily and it won't be noticeable to your audience generally speaking you don't tend to do extreme versions such as a speeded up boat or a slowed down wave you just tend to use it for subtle changes but do know that inside Sony Vegas you really can play with the speed of the clip without any problems at all I hope you found this tutorial useful my name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching